In this video, we'll be talking about listeriosis and its symptoms. So listeriosis is caused by the bacteria known as Listeria monocytogenes. It was basically discovered by or described by Joseph Lister in 1940s. And it was found that when this particular bacterial extract is injected in a rabbit, it induces formation of monocytes from the name of Joseph Lister and this phenomena of increased monocytes it was known as listeria monocytogenes now listeria, listeria monocytogenes is a bacterial pathogen that is responsible for listeriosis it is commonly found in soil water and in some animals listeriosis primarily affect the pregnant women newborns and older adults but pregnant women are at the highest possible risk of this particular uh, bacteria people with weakened immune system is also vulnerable for infection so listeria monocytogenes can be transmitted through contaminated food such as unpasteurized dairy product raw meats and not properly washed vegetables so these are the key uh, places where listeria can uh, be there and it can contaminate the food the pregnant women is at very high risk of listeria infection and it can also be transmitted from mother to fetus during the pregnancy leading to severe consequences and another fact is it can survive in wide range of temperature from 1 degree to 45 degrees so even in in the free refrigerator if you keep your food in cold let's say 4 degrees centigrade listeria can survive there okay listeria species are basically slender short and gram positive rods they do not form spores non -spore, spore forming sometimes they can occur as diplobacilli or short chains but they are avid intracellular parasites in a moment we would understand why they are so such a strong intracellular parasite and they are gram positive so they would stain dark purple in the gram stain so obviously gram staining is the first pass laboratory analysis for listeria but also they produce small colony with narrow zone of beta hemolysis and they also shows catalase positivity so basically they can adhere to the host cell with the help of specific molecules known as internalin and this can adhere to the cadherin molecules on the host cell so once it is engulfed by a let's say a monocyte or let's say a macrophage what happens is inside those uh, monocytes or macrophage they form a phagosome but listeria produce specific chemicals or specific proteins known as listeriolysin O which can lyse the phagosome it has uh, so once it lies the phagosome it is now freely swimming in the cytoplasm of that uh, uh, phagocyte so what happens is basically in these uh, monocyte or macrophages they would assemble the actin filament to form a actin tail like structure which help them to propel inside and they forms a pseudopod like structure eventually they move from one particular cell to another cell listeria produce phospholipase c enzyme which can damage the plasma membrane of the phagos phagosome also the plasma membrane of these cells that is how it can damage the cells now so risk of monocyte listeria monocytogenes uh, involves prop, improper handling of food hygiene practice problems etc so cooking food thoroughly washing hands avoiding cross contamination these are best preventive measures also pregnant women and others other immunocompromised individuals should be carefully consuming food or avoid any play, or avoid any kind of like contaminated food so in adults it can show flu like symptom or gastroenteritis but in case of pregnant women most prevalent symptoms are flu like severe symptoms occur in case of neonates so they have granulomatosis in, in infanticeptica so basically they would have granulomatous infection and there could be preterm birth or sometimes even abortion so that is why during pregnancy listeria infection is a big challenge so this is basically bacterial infection can be treated with bunch of antibiotics like ampicillin like uh, trimethoprim etc so basically prompt diagnosis and tr treatment is crucial especially for high risk individuals and immunocompromised individuals so basically if listeriosis occur during pregnancy 
Antibiotics can be given to mother to prevent the transmission to uterus but has to be diagnosed properly in the proper time otherwise it might have adverse effect on pregnancy. So here is a quick summary about Listeria infection. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like share and subscribe and see you in the next video.